big, big day in rugby league for a lot of reasons. Lots to talk about, but none bigger than Luke Brooks leaving the West Tigers at season's end to join the Manly Seagulls on a four-year deal. What do you think of this one, Gordy? I think it's good for Luke Brooks, absolutely. You know, there was a... They had to part ways uh, in some way, but Luke Brooks playing outside Daly, Cherry Evans, playing with a dominant halfback, uh, I think it, uh, it's a great move for his career. Absolutely. What do you think, Buzz? I think it's a great signing for Manly. I really do. I, Schuster has not been working out at 5'8 for Manly, I don't believe. Plays OK in flashes, but not steady enough for a whole season there. I think it's a great signing. But what is it? A four-year deal or how much? 2.4, two, two, just over... We're around 2427, yeah. 600 a year. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good deal. I think it's a great deal for Luke, obviously, because as Gordy said, I think he needed to get out of the West Tigers. I think we all knew that. And you already told them he was leaving. He'd already mm. knocked back their, their contract offer. And I think he'll complement Daly Chervins perfectly. And obviously, what it means for Schuster, it means he can either move to the edge or he can leave. He's got a year left in his contract. They've offered yeah. him extension. Um, it's up to him whether he takes That's it or That's what I not. think of the dynamic straight up. So they'll play, oh, obviously, half, five, eight. DC's on the ball at seven. Yeah. Brooks at six, Schuster, who wanted to be mm. six. That's why Kieran Foran went to the Titans. Mm. He'll now move back to the back row. Is that right? Well, Schuster had a, uh, don't know if it was a clause, but gentleman's agreement in his last contract that when Foran went, he'd play 5'8". Mm. But Anthony Seabold called him in today for a meeting before he announced Brooks and told him of his plan. And I'm told Schuster coped with it OK. Like, he didn't spit the dummy. He didn't say, I want to leave. You promised me 5'8". So... Be interesting to see well, how he's only been told out. today, Buzz, so yeah. it's going to be interesting to see how it does pan out because yeah. he did get his knickers in a knot last year when he wasn't playing six, and that's why they moved into six, and that's what I mentioned before, four and had to go. Will he get restless here? Is he a chance of, of, of trying to move on? Well, I think, I think when they offered him the extension, there was no guarantee over what position he played. There was, there was no, no guarantee. guarantee. When he was offered the, the extension that's currently on the table, there was no guarantee he'd play six mm. as part of that. So, you know, he probably had an inkling that maybe... There, were no, there was no certainty around it. I mean, but there's been rumours he's, he wants to. He's already looking around. Well, he's I think been linked to the Tigers. I, I don't rumors. know where his options around. are at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Because, he's not look, a six. He's not a six. He's a back rower. Yeah, he's a back And he's not an eight hundred thousand dollar player, mm. as had been well, previously suggested. You only get what someone's worth to pay you. But I just know that as Schuster and the way he played, I was so excited. I think he's one of the most skillful back rowers ever to play the game. When he goes to five eight, he doesn't stay in the contest enough. Like. Against Newcastle, it was the f best 20 minutes, and then for you know the next 50 or whatever, like you don't see him. So mm. for you to be a 5'8", you know you've got to have a lot of game management, and I don't think that he has that. Yeah, I think if he can just find his his way there in the back row, with, they got Jake there, they got Turbo at fullback, yep. you got Brooks DC. All of a sudden, there's a bit of a formidable spine mm. forming at Manly, which, mm. which they probably need. So you know if they can make it work, those combinations, I think it's a great signing. Four years is that too long though? Or that's all right. You're happy with the four no. years? Oh, he's yeah, 20, 29 this year. 20, 28, 29, yeah. Look, I, I think it's fine. I mean, yeah. you know, they, they've now got a half yeah. who could potentially take yeah. over down the track yeah, when Cherry Daly Evans. does retire. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I think you know, I think it's a smart move. Yep. Is there a concern here with his agent, Moses, and the amount of players he's got at the club, coaching staff? Is that, I've heard a bit of a whisper that a few people are worried about that. No? <laughs> well, well, there's always talk at Isaac Moses' clubs where he manages the coach. And at Manly, he's got... Seabold and Shane Flanagan, who's going to St George. Plus he's got Aaron Woods, Cooper Johns, Luke Brooks, Tommy Talao, Condon, is it, and uh, yeah, even Bully Moore. Say, you say he's it's got a those, lot of players. You would say he's got those blokes. He hasn't got Brooks there at the moment. He hasn't got Talao there at the moment. Woods is off contract at the end of the year. Um... Uh, I'm not sure what Cooper Johns' status is. Ethan Bullimore's But they have 30% of the roster, Ethan or 30%. Bully, that's Ethan a lot. Bullimore's off We saw what happened at Brisbane, then they just so get power. It may, not be, it may only be four players they, next year. They still get power, and this is not mainly, but watched a lot of clubs that suffer when they sign players, and then they end up signing package deals because they just say, hey, mate, I need you to take this guy, and I'll give you this guy. There's no doubt that that So you're saying they shouldn't sign Luke Brooks because they've got four players It's there. not Luke Brooks. Well, that's but who they've the signed. But that's then now he's got more about. power over Manly. We're, we're talking about Well, how's he got the power over Manly? We're, we're talking about half serious? a dozen players yeah. here. And, Reedy, the thing is, Anthony Seabold's only been there coaching for, what, six months? Yeah. And there's six... Look, I don't think it's a massive issue, but if he signs another one or a second, I, I think so it's going to be a so problem. So if, if the, a quality player comes on the market and he happens to be... Well, I can tell you now, I can tell you now... That because of Isaac Moses, the I'd Sydney worried. Roosters. I'd be worried if they did. The yeah. Sydney Roosters won't have an Isaac Moses play. Well, that's I think because of the issue that with Swalley. Well, what Plus. about Phil Gould and Canterbury? Will they do without Isaac Moses? 
Yes, Canterbury do. Phil yeah. Gould won't, but other people at Canterbury do. What did do. he do to the Tigers last time when it was Brooks, Tedesco and all those? Didn't he, like a Moses? Well, they all went their separate ways. Yeah, so that's the power that they get when they got it. That, that, that's that's the problem, Reedy. Every really. club has, has... But when a manager has too much power, like he did with Siebes when he was so at the Broncos... Can, I, can we list those players again, right? Mm. Luke Brooks, Ben Condon, Aaron Woods, Ethan Bullimore, Cooper Johns. Are you telling me that gives him unfettered power over Manly? The power players at Manly are the Trebojevic boys, Daly. He manages none of them. Mm. Ola Kawatu, He manages Schuster, the coaches. doesn't that manage any of them. I'm just saying it's worth keeping an eye on. Yeah. I, I really you, do. You don't I think, think it's, it's a, a little bit of a concern if a coach that gets the assistant coach and then a, a number of pl- two, like six well, players. The assistant coach is leaving. I'm the just end saying, of the year. like you, you can see that there is an element of a concern there that a manager could have so much power at a at a one, at one team. Do you, I, do you not I, see that at all? I, I could see it potentially, issue, but yeah. I think you'll find it happens in a lot of clubs yeah. where the the coach is managed by a certain person mm-hmm. and the coach and 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 the, and the manager should be allowed to. Have coaches on their books. It doesn't matter what I think, Gordy. They're allowed to at the moment. They're the rules. The NRL talks about it all the time. That wasn't the rules. Want, I and they don't change the some rules. Managers, I think the All Brothers have five coaches, and you know that yeah. where they have five quite coaches, they've got players there as well. But I just oh. said it, it's worth keeping an eye That's on. A, I think you're right, Buzz. It's not a concern right now with the players on the roster you've just mentioned that Moses has, but it's something to keep an eye on because you. I, yeah, I think it's a concern if a manager has too many players at one club. I think it can get a bit messy. So it's one to look to, to look at. Now, the Tigers, Benji Marshall, what's happening there with Fulton? I mean, today, uh, Lee Hadjip and Tellis has come out and I didn't even know there was an issue to start off with, but apparently Benji didn't like uh, something that Scott's done or he, he wants to have full control. Or where, well, where are we at here? Well, I don't they even just know haven't been on the same page over, over Brooks, um, and over Schuster in, in, mm. in recent sort of days and weeks. And there were whispers going around. So what, why weren't they on the same page? Did, did Benji want to keep Brooks at the club? And Tyson then... Brazil is the other one. Yeah. Uh, did, Kenji, did Benji want to keep Brooks? Is that one issue? Benji wanted to keep Brooks. And, and does Fulton want Schuster there? Well, that's, yeah, that's so what that's the, it, Is that's, that the issue? That's that, that, from the outside but, looking in, I don't know anything about it. Yeah. But from just seeing that and hearing that, that to me is, I like this from Benji. I really do. Because... If he's going to be the future coach of that club, he needs to have his hands all over it. Mm. He, he needs to be in control of key players that come to the club. I would have wanted to keep Brooks too. If you're going to get Schuster in there, they've got note seven now. Who are they going to have yeah. play seven? You bring Schuster there, who's Schuster, Schuster going to play with? They made Brooks an offer, what I thought was a fair offer, 550. Now, my view is Benji needs to embrace Scott Fulton. Benji's had a whack at Mitchell Moses, Sean Johnson, Tyson Frizzell, Ben Hunt. I'm told he had a whack at Munster. And he got knockbacks on all of them. He needs Scott Fulton, who has got connections with agents, a very good eye for young talent. He needs to embrace him and work. He's there he to help him. He doesn't always need to agree with him. Yeah. No, no, of course not. You, of course you don't not. Have to agree and who has the place. power out of them? them but two. if Benji's going to threaten to quit every time there's a disagreement, then you know it'll. It's. I think Scott but, Fulton has the power. Scott Fulton's the one who's put there by the board. Is that, is that should it, should he have the power over Benji? That, that's, that's what we're asking here. They yeah. just work together. Well, that, 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 it's, it's about what balance, if you don't right? like the players, right? So then you're the coach. They're the ones that get sacked. They're the ones that live and die by the result. And you get told who you got to coach. Does Craig Bellamy sign players personally, ring them up, sign them? Of course uh, he doesn't. No. He'll Craig meet them, Craig but he no, doesn't. No, but like then I think when Craig you go to Melbourne, players. they know what sort of player that they want. Yeah. And but there's did, no did, doubt that they go and get that Did player. Craig get his own recruitment? How do you mean? Well, I mean, Benji didn't get Fulton. Neither did Sheens. So that could be the problem right there. Well, that's part of, That's one of the roots of the issue, you know, If yes. you want to be on the same page and you want to be able to work with the guys that are on your team no, no, in that, terms that, of that's recruitment... No, no, that's fair comment too. But Benji is a rookie coach. Benji needs blinkers on and vision on coaching that football side. He needs to sit down with Fulton, discuss recruitment, discuss the sort of players they want. Exactly. Discuss the salary well, cap. That should be happening. And then not he says, oh, yeah. I don't want that player. Yeah, he fair should, enough. Let's he should move be on. respected, but yeah. There's no need to play it out in the media. Good story, though, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It was a You story. wouldn't be, you no, just be That was a backhander. That was a backhander. You've got to say. As soon as I was about to bag it, I remember being What do you mean? Like, Lee had That was a great story. So they were sufficiently concerned about it for Justin Pascoe to ring Benji on Sunday 
to ask whether there was any truth to the suggestion he was about to walk away over this. I liked your story, by the yeah, way. Thanks. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that was six months. And look, Lee said, look, there are, they, yeah. there are, there is some butting of heads, but he says that's um, part of the, the they complement each other, and and it's fine that they butt heads over mm. these things because that's what you do, and then mm. you as long as they arrive at a, a, a destination, they both can agree, agree on then that's the way you want that to operate. Totally. But if I'm Benji, I'm thinking, who the hell's going to play seven now? <laughs> who the hell's going to play six? 